With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, which of the following statements is or are incorrect? So let us analyze each and every statement. The first statement is, all the spectral lines belonging to the Balmer series in hydrogen spectrum lie in visible region. So this statement is correct because all the lines that corresponds to Balmer series that means n1 is equal to 2 and n2 is equal to 3, 4, 5 and so on. They all belongs to Balmer series and hence they lie under visible region. So the A statement is true and is not the required answer. The B statement is if a light of frequency mu uh, falls over the metal surface having the work function h nu, the photoelectric effect will take place only if nu is less than or equal to nu naught. So this statement is false because we know that the that the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons which are emitting out will be equal to h mu minus mu naught. Okay. And for photoelectric effect to take place, our kinetic energy must be greater than or equal to zero, which implies mu must be less than greater than or equal to mu naught. Okay. So this statement is false and is the required answer. The third, the, or, or we can say the C statement is the number of photoelectrons ejected from the metal surface in photoelectric effect depends upon the intensity of the incident radiation. This is true because the number of photoelectrons basically is the function of the area. Uh, covered by the light uh, incident light more is the area covered by the light in, uh, incident light more will be number of photoelectrons emitted so this statement is true and is not required answer the d statement is the series limit wavelength of balmer series for hydrogen atom is this where r is the above constant so what's the meaning of series limit so the series limit basically of the balmer series is the wavelength uh, corresponds to the transition between n1 is equal to 2 and n2 is equal to infinity. Okay, this is the series limit. So for this, we calculate the wavelength 1 by lambda is equal to r into z square. So for hydrogen atom, z is 1, 1 upon n1 square, which is 4, minus 1 upon infinity square. So this will equal to r by 4. So the wavelength will be equal to 4 by r which is the series limit wavelength for the Balmer series of the hydrogen atom. So the D statement is true and is not the required answer. So the correct answer for this question will be B. I hope that I made myself clear. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.